So I learned the other day that apparently September 22nd, yesterday was a Saturday, is Save the Rhino Day. So you know what? It's a perfect time to get back to uploading these animal facts that is more consistently. And say that, my, that the animal we're going to talk about today for seven facts is the rhinoceros. There are five species of rhinoceros spanning from sub-Saharan Africa and Southern Asia with the white rhino, greater one-horned rhino, also known as the Indian rhino, black rhino, Sumatra rhino, and the Javan rhino. Rhinos, along with the other odd-toed hooved mammals like tapirs and horses, evolved from a common ancestor 55 million years ago and throughout the Cenozoic era really spread all over the world in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Did you know that the largest land mammal ever discovered was a rhino called Paraceratherium, a huge beast that resembled more of a hybrid between a hippo and a giraffe that was 5 meters or 15 feet tall and weighed 20 tons, and roamed the, roamed the plains of Eastern Europe all the way to China 30 million years ago? Ooh, that's a big beast. The white rhino is the largest and most widespread rhino species of 20,000 individuals roaming South Africa and other African countries. They're also known as a square-lipped rhino, as their lip structure is very similar to that of a cow's, being perfect for grazing on grasses and other low-growing plants. They're also most social to the rhino family, as herds of white rhinos generally being small with a group of females led by a dominant male. And despite the two African rhinos being called black and white rhinos, there's no real difference between their skin color at all. Black rhinos don't weigh as much as their white counterparts as 900 to 1,350 kilograms or 2,000 to 300 pounds and prefer to live alone instead of herds. The biggest distinction between black and white rhinos are their lips. Black rhinos have a hooked prehensile lip, which means finger-like, that is specifically designed to eat higher-growing vegetation from trees instead of low-growing plants like grasses. Rhinos are also notorious for poor eyesight, but high, highly keen sense of, of hearing and smell. Open your eyes, right, and squint them slowly, almost to the point where your eyes are totally closed. And that's how a rhino sees its world. Due to their perceptions, rhinos are very easily spooked, and will charge at almost anything it sees it takes as a threat. So don't spook a rhino because they've been known to charge at 55 kilometers or 34 miles, miles per hour. The greater one-horned rhinos are second biggest rhino species at 4,600 pounds or 1,800 to 2,700 kilograms as the name suggests. They only sport one horn on their heads while the other rhinos generally have two. Their scientific name is literally Rhinoceros unicornis. They're also the most amphibious of rhino species as they've been the ones that spend most time in or around water in search of tasty aquatic plants. When I saw an Indian rhino at San Diego Zoo like three years ago, I it was spending all day in its pool and if it weren't for the horn, I honestly would have mistaken it for a hippo. Please don't hate me. Sumatra rhinos are the smallest, and oddly enough, the hairiest of all the rhinos at 500 to 960 kil kilograms or 1,000 to 2,000 pounds, spending most of its days browsing vegetation, wallowing in mud piles in the dense Southeast Asian jungles. This rhino species is thought to be most primitive of the rhinos without hair it is. Some even say that Sumatrans have been on Earth longer than any other living mammal, as research has proven that the Sumatra rhino is more closely related to the now extinct woolly rhino than its modern relatives. The Japan rhino weighs 900 to 2,300 kilograms or 2,000 to 5,000 pounds, and like the Indian rhino, male javans have just one horn and females actually have no horn at all. Like its relatives, javan rhinos live solitary lives browsing vegetation in the jungles of Java and have become a conservation icon with 30 to 60 being left in the wild in non captivity. Which leads me to our last point. Rhinos have been a super hot topic regarding conservation efforts as three of the five species are critically endangered in the wild and disappearing at a super fast rate thanks to poaching and habitat loss. People hunt rhinos in African and Asian countries ruthlessly for their pure keratin horns, which is the same material that makes up our hair and nails. Horns are sold on the black market for very high prices, and many believe that the horns have, can have medicinal properties. In addition, Sumatra rhino habitats are being destroyed all the time, so companies can make more palm oil for everyday products. I made an entire video about how palm oil production is ruining our world, and there's plenty of research proving that rhino horns have no medicinal properties. Again, they're made from freaking keratin. Trying to make medicine out of rhino horns like you try to make soup out of your fingernails. It just doesn't work. If you want to contribute to, the, to ending this needless and horrible destruction on rhinos, I'll have some links in the description down below. What can I say? Save the chubby unicorn. So I really want to apologize to you guys for lack of consistency of these kind of videos. I know I keep promising you guys I'm going to get back to them, but it just winds up flopping. <laughs> so make up to you guys, I'm going to get back to hopefully uploading each uh, a new Animal Fact video every Sunday. I think Sundays are a good day to stay consistent on because, hey, it's Sunday. You know, it's, it's, it's just your sleepy Sunday, what can I say? I had a pretty long weekend. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Save the rhinos! Have a nice day.